The following program contains scenes and language of a frank and explicit nature. Discretion is advised. Here we are, everybody. This is episode 76 of your favorite podcast, Geraldo, Geraldo's News Hour with Lisa and Dan. Episode 76, Rare Form Radio, coming at you on this amazing New Year's Eve of 2020. Going to be tough to get out of this year, everybody. <laughs> um, Lisa, how are you? I'm all right. Better than Geraldo. It's like, yeah. that's the name of the show and he's not even here. I Ugh. know. I know. I'm not 20, much better than Geraldo. 2020. 2020. Dude. <laughs> 2020. Um, hey, listen, you know what I will? I'll be so happy to stop hearing. You know, it's, it's okay, man. We're just in the middle of a global pandemic. <laughs> Fucking stop saying Like, bitch, I know. You don't like it? You, you, no, everybody says it? it all the time. It's like, I didn't cook dinner for the kids. Hey, we're in the middle of a global pandemic. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't showered. Well, hey, <laughs> listen, cut yourself some slack, man. <laughs> yeah, take it easy. Yeah. We're in the middle of a, if you didn't know, we're in the middle of a global pandemic. So um, okay. I didn't realize the, how much funnier it is to add global in there. Yes. Like it's so much more serious. <laughs> yeah, it's you everywhere. Know? It's a global mm-hmm. pandemic, man. All over the world. <laughs> some yellow for you, badly sung. Thank you. So um, for anyone listening, um, before we start, before you guys start hearing the show, oh. Lisa and I usually chat for five, 10 minutes. And yeah. uh, I almost canceled tonight. Um, you Lisa, did? No. I oh. mean, in, in the last five or 10 minutes, I was like, maybe we shouldn't do this. Because <laughs> uh, Lisa, the one who's currently drinking again, is, uh, is on edge tonight. I am. I had a rough day, dude. Yeah. I've had a rough day. You could see it all over me. I, you know. <laughs> you're like, you're like slumped down. Like, yeah, uh, I've like, had it. Like Stephen Hawking. Like, oh. I've, I fucking have had it. Yeah. Is You've it, heard me say it before, but I've, I've had it today. I've, I'm like done. Is it, uh, is it like holiday had it or like, uh, would this I be a bad day in July? No, I think, I think it's just the sum of everything. It's, It's the holidays and it's the new dog and no sleep. And one more thing to like care and worry about is really stressing me out. Um, But the worst part is that, remember when I was telling you about my little leg? Your leg? My leg was bad and I couldn't work out for two days. Well, and I was like, oh, you know, when this has happened in the past, I just press on ahead and it gets better. Well, that was a mistake. (laughs) And... I am fully out of commission, so I haven't been able to like exercise for three days now, and it's really say, bad for my anxiety. Really, you, yeah. You look there's very that blown up. I know, I'm sure I do. Just, but, uh, <laughs> you're beautiful. <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah. But yeah, that's not helping with the old uh, anxiety, and I, I'm a real fucking bitch when I don't uh, get. For the to record, you're, you're 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 a bitch usually, but I thank can't you. imagine. No, no, in a good way. Thank I mean, you. listen, um, but I imagine... Is there you, any other way? <laughs> I don't understand. When you're not getting what you want, I mm. imagine it's a tough It's a tough time to be around yeah. you. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Listen. Agree. <laughs> you're stressed. You have the new dog. It is the holidays. We're, we're, we're taping this a little, a couple of days before Christmas. Uh, oh, this is New Year's Eve. Day New Year's Eve. <laughs> Streamers. <laughs> Party. <laughs> Titties. What um, now, bitch? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you need to cut yourself some slack. We're it's in the middle. middle of- we're in the middle of a global yeah. pandemic. Ah, oh, there's some guy in Chile. Like, oh fuck, this sucks, right? Yeah. Hey, man. <laughs> we're like, in a global yeah. pandemic. <laughs> we're in this together globally. This um, pandemic. <laughs> so you did get a new dog, which sure did. I don't know if I mentioned this to you, but over the last, uh, I feel like a month or so, I've had like been thinking nonstop about I need puppy time. Like I want to play with a puppy. So bad. Mm-hmm. I think I'm just so sad with everything ever yeah. right now that I need I need a puppy in my life. But then seeing yeah. you the last 15 minutes, I'm like, <laughs> maybe I don't want a puppy ever again. No, it's very it's very nice in theory, but <laughs> it's a lot. It's a it's a huge lifestyle change. It's like we have a newborn, like up every three hours, 
but a newborn her out to shit and pee and a newborn that you can't just put where you want and then it stays there. It's a newborn oh. that has full use of its faculties oh. and and like, she doesn't listen like at all. <laughs> like, hey, hey, no, no, don't. She ate a gold star off the tree yesterday. She had one in her mouth. Had to wrestle it out of her mouth. If she swallowed that. Christmas would be ruined, Dan. <laughs> I had to Lydia. wrestle it out of her little jaw. She just doesn't listen to no, don't stop, please. Well, I'm yeah, she, I mean, it's a she doesn't even fucking know English yet. Mm. You may as well be talking mm. German to your daughter. Mm. It's a real problem. We should have got one of those listen, English broken puppies. Within like within like nine months, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Uh, Are you gonna do okay. uh, puppy? Johnny school? and I haven't even slept in the same bed in in four or five nights. It's yeah. that bad. Yes. Were you sleeping in the car? No, <laughs> I wish <laughs> that happened a couple times during choir. Uh -huh. I was like, I'm going to the car. Yeah. yeah. Too honest. But, too honest. Okay. No, no, it's fine. I came back. <laughs> cool. Seriously. Hang on. My twat itches, as Jolie would say. Ah, there's where she gets it. There's that charm. <laughs> Ooh, my my twat itches real bad. Happy holidays, everybody. <laughs> Happy New Year. Look at. Hey, hang on. Daniel looking so handsome tonight. Look at Danny. Well, Look it's so handsome. This is all fucked, but this is like, it's stupid. I mean. No, you look great. Are you serious? Yes. I'm, I know it's, it sucks when I'm honest. And what nice, is it? But What's yeah. different? I don't, I don't know. You just look like a man, Daniel. Do you want to come over and 69 me real quick? <laughs> real quick though, okay? I, uh, like, I, I, I don't have an option. I'm, <laughs> I'm quick in the sack. Okay, I'm cool. like, yeah. I, you, you would think at 41, I would have learned how to fuck a little bit, but I'm <laughs> so bad at it. Yeah, I'm just, I've gotten really lazy. I'm just like, what if you gave me a massage and you're like a naughty masseuse and I just lay here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll sleep, you finger me, okay? But <sighs> also, I don't know my... why I just said that I fuck badly to everyone who listens to this. <laughs> <laughs> it's very weird. Like, I want well, people I to think I'm cool. Uh, yeah, your wife you did. Talking. Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> fuck, fuck. That's a drag. <laughs> Mm. She said, literally. <laughs> Sometimes I don't like when I talk. Um, <laughs> now you know how I feel. <laughs> wait, <laughs> to me? You hate when I talk? Oh, yourself. Got gotcha. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, this sweater, by the way, was a gift from our own Todd Newman last last holiday season. Aww. So I figure, um, as an ode to my friend Todd, I would wear this tonight. That's really nice. How is Todd? How's he doing? All right. He's uh, he's he's probably not going to be with us much longer. But you know, he should, he should make it through the holidays. <laughs> so I think. good. Okay. Good. Yeah. All right. Great. Um, <laughs> great. Well, we send him the, our best. I want to cheers. What do you got? A Glade some... candle? What the fuck is that? <laughs> it's, a, it's my festive holiday. <laughs> eggnog? Candle. Are you eating your own chud? What is that? It's eggnog. <laughs> it's eggnog. eggnog. No, it's not. I swear to God, yeah, it's eggnog. You can't see it. Why very well is it so damn thick, bro? Is it? It's like... eggnog. It's not fucking milk water. It's eggnog. Dude, what? It's not, it's not eggnog. <laughs> oh. It's like me. Oh god. Yeah, I've seen that out of you one too many times. I just spit out and I'm gonna drink it again. Mm. Oh. Yummy, yummy. It's definitely eggnog. Um. Are it's you not egg, it's not uh, eggnog? Are you anti nog? Yeah. Well, wow. it's egg, and what the fuck is nog? So yeah. I mean, I'm a I'm a total nogger. I'll tell you what. My mom is really into it. Mm -hmm. She gets real excited about eggnog season. Yeah. I nogger guess. what? Huh? Nogger what? I don't know. The nog eggnogger? I don't. I don't know. Uh, anyway, <laughs> do you think uh, your mom would want to do eggnog body shots with me? Probably. Would you allow it for real talk? Yeah, if, I don't, uh, what if, the fuck do I care? I'm going to okay. be like, oh my God, oh, you're embarrassing me. No, I don't give a shit. <laughs> like, I like that. I was about to give you a bunch of like, if this, if that. You're like, yeah, fine, go for it. I know. No, I like, care. doesn't talk <laughs> you into it at all. Go so, for it. <laughs> this show is brought to you by eggnog, water, and monster, everybody. <laughs> oh my God, you're so hydrated. I'm partying. I need I need the energy. I'm going nuts tonight, baby. I'm fatigued. I've had three three yeah. straight days of work, which is very weird for me. So this what are the, you doing? What happened today? I want to know. Give, what you were at work. What did you do today? Navarro has been having uh, uh, these gigs. Dave Navarro, uh, Carmen Electra's ex. You've heard of him? Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. He yes. was married to Carmen Electra. Maybe, maybe yes. you've heard of her. Yes. Um, he was in. The Red Hot Chili Peppers. Excuse me. Yes. Hello, superstar. 
Oh, yeah. um, he, uh, I don't know if you will lead with that. <laughs> yeah, I should, do, I should do Chili Peppers and then Big Closer yeah. should be Carmen or something. I don't know. Yeah, so there you go. There you go. Um, he was in a band with Steve Isaacs. Hello, heard of him? <laughs> don't, Lisa, don't, don't. Um, <laughs> Dave has been doing gigs uh, the last couple months here and there. He has a, uh, how do I say it? For what, Maybe like a, a Royal Machines or no? Are, but he's he, there's there might be a new project in the works. Gotcha. So there's been some stuff happening with that. Oh, get that gimp leg moving. <laughs> um, I wear a brace all day, but go ahead. Yeah, go gross. ahead. It's off. Um, <laughs> I know. He's, he's been doing a bunch of gigs, <laughs> and uh, there's kind of long days. And then we had to set up somewhere last night. Okay, okay, this is good because I want your opinion on this. Mm-hmm. Last night I had to set up gear at a venue that we we're going to tape like a video segment at, mm-hmm. and I couldn't set up until another. Put the eggnog down. Excuse me. Put the eggnog down. No, how about if I just do pinkies out like this, like a, like a gentleman? You're just nogging all over the place while you're telling the story, like me with the nails last week. <laughs> Stop it. Stop. Uh, where's the glass? Uh. Man. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Well, fuck around and get horny. Stop it. <laughs> Ow. Mm. Mm. What did you do? Mm. What did you do? This pussy bites back. What did you do? I kept darting my tongue in and out, and I had Good. a tongue spasm. My tongue, like, cramped up. See, I'm bad at fucking. I, can't, I couldn't go down my wife for more than eight seconds without getting a mouth cramp. I've never even heard of a mouth cramp. I just invented it. I don't think you it's ever happened really before. You are bad at fucking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm the worst. So, <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Please, yeah, finish that. Oh, Great. Oh, oh, God help me. Oh. Oh. So last night, well, I couldn't load in the gear and set it up until another artist was done. You should have had more eggnog. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, Lisa, sorry. Lisa, please sorry, don't I'm done. fucking I'm t- interrupt my stories. I'm sorry. You're right. I'm being an asshole. So Go ahead. rude. I so I couldn't set up until this other artist uh, was done there. And that artist was supposed to get there at 5 p.m. And that artist was supposed to be done at 7 p.m. That artist didn't begin their performance until 7.30 p.m. That's so annoying. So, and they were supposed to do... This is what I heard. They're supposed to do three takes of a song. They did 20. 20 takes of a song. Who was it, Dan? I will never say. Come on, Dan. No, I'll tell you off the air. Um, Actually, I'll I'll text it to you. I'll text it to you right now. It's not that hard to find out. It is, actually. Really? Yep. Sugar Ray? What? (laughs) Shut the fuck up. Oh, my (laughs) God. That's not funny. Hey, do you ever watch (laughs) the show uh, Dead to Me? No. Okay, what is that? Right. It's uh, a okay. Christina Applegate uh, a show on Netflix, which is really, really good. But they they knocked Sugar Ray on an episode tonight. Ah. Anyway, so um, this artist did uh, twenty takes. Check your phone. And I didn't get anything yet. I'm... It's coming. Oh well, yeah. that's da, da, different. Sh- okay, I won't say. Oh, sh- I see sh- how it is. Yeah. Sh- I sh- see sh- how it is. Shush. Sh- right. I'll, I'll edit this whole fucking show off. <laughs> <laughs> no show this week. Um, <laughs> So uh, at one point, the, the production people said, you know what? If you live close, just go home for a while. It's oh, going it's, it's, to it's, it's be a few hours. I was like, the power. what? So I was supposed to be done at like 7.30. I ended up getting home at like 11.30 last night and then had to be back there at 9 a.m. I'm just tired. I'm not used to working. It's been a weird I know year. I texted you at like 8.30 and you answered me and I fucking almost had a stroke. I was like, what the fuck are you doing up? Yeah, you're like, what's wrong? What, what are you doing? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Seriously. Because um, I text you in the morning because I'm up because I'm a mom. Yep. And I won't well, hear no, from you. You're, like, you're, an, you're an adult. Two. I'm a 41-year-old child. So I just like <laughs> have my binky and nap, do you know, whatever. You're normal. I'm not. It so works. I don't know. I'd, it's kind of fun to be not normal. I, oh, I, I love miss, it. Like, I miss sleeping. Oh, I, I miss bet. like having like a conversation without what's that about? You know, so so there's well, that. Um you guys aren't very disciplinary, so it's kinda on you, but <laughs> um were you hit as a kid? Yeah. Yeah, I was a hit lot. all the time and I listened. Yeah. Well, actually, I imagine it didn't I help know. you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I was a really good kid, actually. For real? Like I swear to God, like so good. Until oh. I was about like 19, then I was like a little out of my mind. I went you know, a little crazy. <laughs> yeah. You know, what I we was good, 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 as good as you can get. And then I was like, fuck 
Fuck it. <laughs> Grandma, here's my pussy at Olive Garden. Yeah. No, that. But the time I got my snatch pierced, I showed my grandma and she slapped me. <laughs> on on your pussy? <laughs> no, across my face. Across my face, like real Italian style. I was like, Grandma, let, let. <laughs> And she was like, what the fuck are you doing? And slapped me. And yeah. For anyone listening, um, I know Lisa's grandmother. And yeah. this story is not the least bit surprising. <laughs> no, um, I've told this story before, but when I was living with Lisa, her grandmother, who she really was wonderful, but um, she was <laughs> she could be very uh, disconnected disconnected from warmth uh, towards other human beings. <laughs> <laughs> she asked me to do her a favor once, and she remember like before TVs were like an inch thick, they used to be huge, like almost the size of refrigerators, or like a, mm-hmm. they were the size of like you know, we had like have, a four hundred pound TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you no. sure did. I know. I know you did. Uh, but it was like the size of like one of those garage freezers where you keep all the meat. Yeah. And Lisa's grandmother, uh, Beatrice, asked me if I could move move the television from, I think it was, maybe it was trash. It was going outside or something. And no, it was going to her apartment. She that's what it was. She lived upstairs. upstairs. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> up a flight of stairs. That's right. That's right. So she asked me if I would move the television which again is enormous. And uh, I am a strong person. I'm a strong man. I can't fuck for shit, but I can lift anything. I have a strong back. So I'm carrying this huge television, a massive television by myself. And obviously I opened the door before I, you know, took the TV out. And as I leave the front door to go right up the staircase to her apartment, I'm outside. She goes, close the door, you animal. What are you, why can't you close the door? And I remember like I leaned back in, like I looked at her, I'm like, it's in, it's in my arm. So I literally, I, think I, 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 I put this 400 pound television down so I could, because the worst thing that could happen is for her to get off of her chair and come close the door behind me as I'm doing her a favor. Plus like, it's not like a, a sandstorm and all this debris is going to come in the house. It'll be a minute. <laughs> Leave the door for, get some fresh air, you son of a bitch. <laughs> and uh, man, she's like, it's not like she gave you a talking to. Yeah. yeah. And I had lived there for mm. months at this point. I wasn't like some stranger. I wasn't some like delivery dude. Like, hey, I'm friends with your daughter, Rose. I'm friends with your grandkids. I'm living here. What's your problem, lady? <laughs> yeah, she didn't really hold anything back. <laughs> and I would love to say it came from a place of love, but that time it sure did not. <laughs> but she would have killed someone for you guys. That's for sure. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, honestly, I feel like that was like a rite of passage for you that she was she was treating you like family. Like, she well, was, so so she was, in that family, she treats but, people like e- shit, like oh, they're yeah. complete strangers. Equal parts, <laughs> the most loving and abusive. <laughs> yeah. Like, that is that's kind of Italian in a weird way. It's yeah. kind of true. And yeah. Jersey, East Coast. I mean, East Coast. I is was like, scared when I was a toddler, I remember I was <laughs> she was in the car. <laughs> she was in the car. And I had those like fucking Buster Brown, like no fuck around lace up boots. And I Buster Brown. Oh, Buster I, Brown is you're a, a lot like a, older than me, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I stood on her hand by accident. And she goes, "Get off my hand, you fucking house!" It's <laughs> so a good. House. A house. A house. Like, like to say that, that to a, a woman, <gasps> but like a young lady who's like a toddler. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> right. You're a toddler. Your house. Yeah, your house, which was like. That was one of her favorite insults. You fucking house. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> it good. stuck with you. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty good. Here we are 58 years later and you're still thinking about it. I mean, it's, it's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God rest your soul, Beatrice. If you're looking yeah. down, please don't listen to this episode. Yeah. I am. Um, man, that's funny shit. Oh, um, she's the best. She's the best. Lisa, you, you, you mentioned something before we got started and it seemed to really bum you out. I want to know what it was. Huh? You told me you have a gift for me. And when you said it, you got like really bummed out. It's here. What do I do? You want me to unwrap it? Oh, I mean, it's up. It's, it's your thing. What do you want? I mean, do you want to give it to me in person or you want it? Would it be good radio? Well, I feel like it doesn't make a fucking difference now. I mean, at this point you can save it to save it and give it to me. Every next gift Christmas. I've gotten this year for everyone. It doesn't matter. 
I got my mom this nice like massage chair that she was like, oh, my broke. I need it so fucking bad. So I get her her little massage chair thing. And today she comes at me and she's like, oh, there's a new massage chair that I want. This one has kneading action. I think I need that. And I'm Wait, like, you got to be fucking. She said that after you gave her after, this one? No, 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 no. She oh. doesn't know, but she, that wouldn't be unlike her. Yeah. <laughs> but she this time she didn't know. But she will know. So I already feel like my gift is like pointless. <laughs> yeah. M- much like your gift. Uh, pointless. Yeah. Do you want me to get it? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued. Okay, hold on. Uh, cool. <laughs> uh, I can't walk on my gimp leg. That's okay. You'll be fine. This should be I good, everybody. I think this is yours. And if it's not, I'm not rewrapping. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, well, this was for you. Okay. I just want to say you look very lovely and well lit tonight. Thank you. Yeah. Pretend it's you. Hey, listen, we're in the middle of a global pandemic, okay? So that's why I'm unwrapping your gift. Notice, <laughs> notice. This, Danny. A real light. I got you a, a selfie real ring light. light. I did. Yeah. Bro, that's that great. You don't fucking need, because look at how gorgeous you look tonight. So well lit. This is a borrowed light. Okay, well now. Oh, okay, all right. Then good. Then we're good. Oh, then right. I'm happy. Are, are, is it really borrowed? You promise? No, no. I bought it. But I was trying to make you feel good, but I, I do <laughs> need more <laughs> lights. That's really great. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I thought the, you would the ring like lights it. are better than than what I got. I got some. I got like a real like studio light, and it's fucking Just make your eyes so me. fucking dreamy. Yeah, and this and also, has a dial and shit. So. I love it. Thank you. That's very good, thoughtful. You want <laughs> all I gave you was this podcast for a month, and no, that's it, not true. It, Everybody, I want you to know. Daniel Cleary really uh, got me choked up the other day. He's like, hey, did you check your email? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> He's like, any weird emails? <laughs> and that could mean anything coming yeah, from you. That's true. So I It could have been no. like a, a, a beheading video or something. Oh, yeah, of course. That or like like some weird like fan thing. I, the, oh, yeah. Who the fuck knows? So The wig uh, video? But he got, but he got <laughs> me... Uh, a gift certificate to Crossroads to say thank you for this month. And I just thought that was the sweetest thing. Well, thank you. Little Danny Wanny. Uh, uh, the, the truth uh, is, uh, I really, really do appreciate you doing this. It has been an absolute uh, blast. It really and has. I've had we, so much fun with you. We've made I really have. multiple, I think, like really all-time funny moments, which is good. The show's, the show's had a lot of really funny moments of, like, gut-busting laughter. It's going to suck so but, bad after this, right? I know. I know. I know. <laughs> Especially when I bring in the next host who's, like... Who a, is it? Do you know? Yeah, I do. Okay. Um, but it's a mute... Text in, me. It's a mute in a wheelchair. So it's not going to oh, be very good. Just you know? mildly better than me. There's a funny thing about the, the gift certificate, though. So yes. the reason I asked you if you got an email in the first place. Is it didn't say anything like a fucking bitch? That drives well, me crazy. Yeah, It makes sense, though. So this, this is what happened. I yeah, I got web- it. What? <laughs> Are those from you? And is that yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. I'm not taking you. Um, <laughs> so... Uh, I go to this, by the way, Crossroads, we talked about it on one of the last shows, but if you didn't listen to that, Crossroads is a vegan Italian restaurant in... No, it's uh, not Italian. You're mixing it? the two up. It's just normal uh, American fare, I guess, but it's... it's they have fucking meatballs and pizza and... They do have all of that, but they also have like, I don't know, like, I don't know, Caesar All salad. right. Well, okay, <laughs> guys, it's not an Italian restaurant, okay? It's right. just a vegan restaurant, but it's all fair. And it's amazing. <laughs> it's, it's really, really good. good. So it's the good. only vegan food that I've had that I like. So anyone who listens to this, you know that uh, I'm not vegan. I, I love steak. I love chicken. I love pork. I would probably eat person if it was properly prepared. I would like you to- You have. Uh, oh, yeah, I did. I ate part of Dave You Navarro. fucking have. Yeah, I don't forget that. Yeah, no, There's you don't. There's two stories I don't forget about you. That's one. And then there was also, I don't know if I want to talk about it. I'm just talking about how nice you are right now. I don't want to get upset. Oh, I'm intrigued as hell. So save it because I want to finish the story. So uh, I go on the website to buy this gift certificate for Lisa and Johnny for this wonderful month. 
and uh, for Johnny putting up with whatever this he is. He has nothing to do with this. I'm eating all of the gifts. Oh, today. who set this up? Who set up the computer? Who who turned your sound on? Who That's fixed your nothing. headphones? That's nothing. I provide all of the shine. You do all you do that. But he's he, he's your crew. <laughs> You're the talent. We know Fine. That. He he can come. Whatever. Cool. Great. So I, I I got them this card, and I'm putting in my information, and um, I put in my credit card information. I hit you know. Purchase, whatever it is, check out. Rejected. Like your credit card company has rejected this purchase. I buy fucking everything with this one credit card. So, so many bats. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, 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 but everything, all of my bills are on it. Everything is on this one card. This is the only time it has ever been declined. It's so bizarre. It's like my card knows, like, this motherfucker would not buy anything from a vegan restaurant. <laughs> this is fraud. This is fraud. Shut this card down immediately. This guy's getting taken for a ride. And that's what happened. They declined it, I think, because it was from a vegan restaurant. <laughs> so I the had algorithm to, was like, no, bitch. Like, this is bullshit. Dan yeah. Cleary would never purchase stuff here. So I had to go to my credit card website and like say, yes, Please. I bought that. It's a gift. Don't worry, guys. It's a gift. It's <laughs> yeah. not for me. Thank you, uh, MasterCard or whoever you are. Aww. But it was funny. Like It was the only time my card was ever flagged for fraud was buying vegan stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like They really do learn your patterns. Well, that was really sweet. I'm I'm glad that you persevered because it was really nice. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah. I, I mean, I no, do. No, no, I, no, no, I, no. I do. Oh, no, thank, thank you. you. No, 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 no. Put your stupid lips. I just thank, thank you very much. Thank you, grassy ass. What the fuck, <laughs> asshole? You're such a stupid bitch. Please just thank you so much. <laughs> um, Stop, it was funny, too, snorts. because I did, I did, I was hoping that the email was already time stamped in your email because um, you and I had another misunderstanding uh, over the week, which I, I will take credit for. I'll take credit for it. And it was like, it was like a few days of me being like, are we ever going to talk again? Like I sent, a, I sent a couple of funny texts and I've gotten like the, no, of course. Kind of we <laughs> like not even like, not even like it's I just had emoji. To get my, head, my head together. Dude. I know. I, I understand. I know what happened. We don't have to get into any of that. Okay. But I'll take responsibility. I love you more than fucking anything. But like it was, it was like, cold for a minute i was hoping yeah i was that, cold i was being a little bit of a bitch but. i know I'm, I'm used to it i don't take it personal even though it's directly directly <laughs> you know pointed it's right at me, me. <laughs> yeah i know it's not personal it's just directed only yeah, just at how me i am yeah hard um, yeah and you yeah <laughs> so i was hoping that the transaction would have gone through and you would have like been weird with me and then notice i did something super awesome <laughs> and you'd be like oh i feel so bad it's still had the same effect that's kind of the same effect Good. Yeah, I was. I, I thought, oh, Good. that little knucklehead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, so what's what's the other thing you remember me doing? <sighs> How are we gonna go from like me praising you to like me to, like literally? Well, this is something that has stayed with me. Welcome to Rare Form Radio. This is what we do. We build you up and we tear you down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, then, Dan, we will talk about it. Do Years I want ago. to? Do I want to? It's not that bad for okay, you, okay. I guess, but okay. it's like I saw it and I will I can never unsee it. Okay. You had a really bad summer. Oh yes. <laughs> this stop it. This motherfucker peeled his sunburned skin off and ate it. That's serial killer shit. I still like that's, do to this day. Why do you do that? The best <laughs> thing is if someone can help me with my back to get try to get a full back peel if possible. Don't You're leave. You're cannibalistic. Don't, don't leave. You are. But you are. You're cannibalistic. I, I've noticed this before. The biggest sheet you can get and you just, oh, it's like a, it's like veal You're or something. Disc that's disgusting. I can't, Dan. I can't. Do you want to go deeper? There's more to it than that. I'd love to. I want to. There's more to it. Well, yeah. Uh, I learned this from somebody. My mother. Oh, my God. And oh mom. My. Mom, I really hope you're not listening to this one because. So do I. <laughs> my mom would peel this my son. My sick mom, right now. This is real, real hour. Real honest talk with Dan Cleary. I don't feel that. My mom would peel my sunburned skin and she would eat it. 
What is the statute Damn, of limitations why? for child I services? Love you, but why? Why? What, what is the statute of limitations for child services? Because I'm realizing now that that's probably like very violating. God, I feel sick. I swear to God, my stomach is sick. I came out of my mom and then she kept putting pieces of me back inside of her. That's love, everybody. Why did she tell you why? Why? I want to know why. She's like, this is the body of Christ. This is the body of Christ. <laughs> why, why do you do it, Dan? Why? She didn't. She it didn't hurts act. my feelings. <laughs> like, it's why? It's just like, it's called bonding, and maybe someday you'll bond no, with dude. your daughter. No, I don't even share drinks with my kid. Are you fucking going to eat her skin? You should no. taste her. You should taste her. This is why you like Leatherface. Yeah. That's my boy, dude. <laughs> this is why. This guy, he'd be like, no, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't talk, so that's what he does. Can you please answer my question, though? What's, what's the question? Why? I'm not. Why do I do it? Why do why? you eat yourself, bro? I mean, I I used to eat my fingernails for for 35 years. You're really would, fucking skeeving me out I, tonight. I'm just I gonna eat like, my toenails. <laughs> just so you know, I was never a booger eater ever. Oh, good. Oh, good. At um, least you need boogers. No, just eat, skin and nails and earwax. I used to eat my earwax. Um. It's, uh, I think I might have lost Lisa's connection. Lisa? Lisa? I want to eat you, Lisa. I'm just, I'm just busy trying to not vomit. I'm not, I, like, I this feel This is why I, I ask you to bring stories, because I end up saying stupid shit. <laughs> I just want to know why. That's I'm all. Just, like, I've listen. thought about this so fucking much over just, the years. I'm like, I'm you did it in real. front of me one day, and I, 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 I wish you would have punched me. Like, anything but that. <laughs> anything i didn't want to see that i mean there's, there's there really is more like like if i can if i can um if i have like a scab like a big scab okay now stop hold on just take it it's a no, fine dan i don't i i i I'm, i feel sick <laughs> i swear to god I you feel- can ch- you can chew on a scab for multiple days you take it out for bed you put it next to your right. How's that margarita? Have a, have a sip of the margarita. No, that's not definitely not going to help. Let me do a. Let me do a. Uh, let me do a segue into something else. Um, <sighs> actually, I'll tell you this, and it's not really going to help my. I'm not a sociopath. I'm not a. No, I mean but it's. I mean it's <laughs> something happened last night that. Made, something happened last night, and I just told my wife about it, and she's like, "You're fucked up." Like you, oh, you, you you're fucked up. That's why I love you. <laughs> so last night, um, as I was waiting for this artist to wrap it up <laughs> i decided to go get some food so i was walking down hollywood so boulevard you just peeled off your arm <laughs> no i was walking yeah, down Hollywood. turkey <laughs> sorry I was, I was walking down hollywood <laughs> boulevard which is by the way have you been to hollywood lately it's terrifying not it's, lately it's there's no traffic there's no like uh uh tourists of course it's just all maniacs. so much easier to get shanked now yeah yeah yeah, it's yeah. all maniacs. Basically, you know, yeah. like usually in Hollywood, the game is like you're passing people and you're like, do I worry about you? Do I worry about you? You seem cool. Now you just got to, you just, just worry about everyone you're passing on Hollywood Boulevard. It's 100%. scary. Yeah. So I walk past this dude, homeless dude, of course. And he's like, yeah, you got any change? I'm like, oh, I don't. I look, I make eye contact. But if you sing me a song with that wicked alto, I might. <laughs> <laughs> what a wonderful world. I only do Louis, Louis Armstrong uh, impersonations on this show. Fair enough. So I, I, he's like, you, you need to spare any change. Um, and uh, I am respectful. I, I don't keep walking, which I do sometimes by turn. I stop. I'm like, I'm sorry, man. I only have cash. I, I mean, I only have credit card. I don't have any cash. <laughs> um, but uh, But good luck. And I start walking again. I hear like, and I, I think I, I've been so on edge the last couple of days. And I had anxiety yesterday and I was angry about the way the day was going. Mm-hmm. And I stopped again and he's like 15 feet behind me. And I'm like, I started fantasizing about what he said to me about him being like, you know, motherfucking cheap cock sucking motherfucker. <laughs> that's so, like, that's what it's like to be in my head all the time, by the way. I don't think you had my By next thought. You didn't have my next thought. So my next thought was, I, it was like a micro fantasy. I, it, it, in my mind, it took like 15 minutes, but it was like probably a couple seconds. I wanted to go back and be like, what'd you say? What'd you say to me? I'm just curious. I heard you mumbling. I want to know what, what you said. Yeah. <laughs> and I want him to be like, I told you that you're a cheap fucking asshole. And I wanted to say to him like, oh yeah? How about you watch the way you speak to people? How about you get your fucking face kicked in by me right now? I started fantasizing 
Hmm. About kicking in the face of a homeless man. Yes. Not because yes. he's homeless. Go on. Because, yeah, are you getting hard? I'm getting hard. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I had this like, and I, and like, even when I kept walking, I walked away. I walked for another 15, 20 minutes, and all I thought about was killing him. No, it's so sweet. Happy Actually, holidays, all, everybody. the only thing he was saying back to you was like, I accept credit cards. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have Venmo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I may be homeless, oh but I'm not a loser. <laughs> Venmo. It's, it's, it's houseless now, right? Isn't that the... Are you the one that told me that? No, my wife told me that because she kind of wor- works did. in that field. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm, oh, or without people without homes. Oh, mm-hmm. homeless. Like, <laughs> if I don't have a penny, I'm penniless. <laughs> if I don't have a dick... I'm dickless. I'm not Dan without dick. You know <laughs> what the fuck are we doing here? What's wrong? What's the problem? Why, why? What's wrong with homeless? It's not your fault. Like yeah. you are homeless. Yeah. Like it's that's a uh, like your grandmother was heartless. She wasn't grandma without heart. <laughs> we don't have to bro- like. Oh, you're so funny, God. I'm gonna, okay. I'm, I'm gonna. <laughs> Um, I've heard My you take back hurts. Though. Everything hurts. I'm in pain all the time now. Oh, I don't I know. know what's going on. Well, it's I age. It's age. It's winter. It's stress. Listen, it's holiday this is the second stress. fucking time somebody said that to me. I was like, yeah, I hurt myself exercising. They're like, my sister, my bitch sister said to me, well, you know, you know, spring chicken. <laughs> they almost fucking killed her. Yeah. That's like, that's the kind of thing that yeah. would get you stabbed in the jugular by Lisa. It's so rude. Yeah. She's um, like, you work out like a crazy person. This is what happens. What do you mean? I worked out this way my whole like for years. You brought Shut this on up. yourself. Yeah, <laughs> you fuck brought right on off. Yourself. Um, oh, it makes me so crazy. Enjoying the podcast? If you'd like to show support for Rare Form, there are a couple of ways. Become a patron at Patreon.com/RareFormRadio. Make a one-time donation, or choose from a few subscription levels paid monthly for extra benefits. Those extra benefits include bonus episodes not available to the public, exclusive live streams, more interactions with the gang, along with other special perks that will change over time. Choose your level of donation, and know that your contributions go to keeping the show running and growing, paying crews behind the scenes, and just supporting independent artists. That's patreon.com slash rareformradio. You can also get Rare Form merch by going to rareformradio.threadless.com. T-shirts, hoodies, mugs, all kinds of silly shit. We're constantly adding new things and limited time only goodies. That's rareformradio.threadless.com. You can also help build the show by subscribing, leaving a review, and most importantly, leaving us a rating on iTunes and Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts. Lastly, follow the show on Twitter and Instagram by searching at rareformradio. Thanks for supporting independent entertainment. And here comes the segue. Um, <laughs> I was having a talk about uh, porn stars the other day. Hmm. And <clears throat> <clears throat> I have a favorite one. I think and, I might have a new one too. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Hold it. Hold it. So I like, uh, oh, I mean, this is right up your alley. I like older women. Um, Go ex- fuck an older woman. Experienced lovers. Yes. And um, there's this one called, uh, she, I, I, don't, I don't want people to know too much about who I like, but she's a cougar <laughs> with like nice boobs. She's got a big bush, which I love so fucking much. Sure. And um, she's a very generous lover in her films. You know, um, she'll <laughs> fuck like. She's like, here's a bonsai plant. Eat my pussy. <laughs> kind of. She like, she loves when people like smell her ass and like sure. do all this. It's, yeah. You know, okay. good, she's she's, yeah, she's, she's a lady. wholesome. Yeah. She's a lady. <laughs> lady. I mean, she's a lady of the times and like, you know, she'll fuck old men. She'll fuck young men. She'll fuck. That's great. Asian dudes. She doesn't care. She's just a giver. So <laughs> I thought it'd be a good idea for me to go um, see if she's on Twitter. Like, uh, I'm like, I wonder if this like older woman who fucks on film is on Twitter and she's truly my favorite. Like I love what I mean. Have I made it clear? I I who is? Do I know her? I come to her all the time. Oh, I, that's violent. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> jerk, jerk my little dick off <laughs> with two hands. Yeah. You got, you got the and fucking I, and what I was go that dip- the, the, the fucking jerk weight. The shake weight. The shake weight. I do this thing where like I do opposite directions, so I slam it together go. like this. Yeah. Nice. <clears throat> so I go to her Twitter, and. Her entire feed is like, uh, 
I love Trump. I love Trump. Fuck Democrats. Here's oh, my tits. God. Here's my tits. Yeah. Um, Jared Kushner should be president. Ivanka, what a beautiful, she's going to be the best president. Biden's a fucking retard tits, pussy ass. <laughs> um, and it, it sort of like, it kind of ruined my thing with her. The thing, you know, our, our, our thing that her yeah. and I have. Yeah. A little, a little, we might be a little you bit on the rock Never meet right your now. rock stars. Yeah. Never meet your idols. Ever, yeah. ever, ever. Um, but then I'm like, or should I like get extra to jerk off to her more and just like uh, humiliate her in my mind? Why, what do I do? Yeah. Like yeah. If, if you had a, yes. yeah. If, if you had a porn star, do you like, like, do you like guy porn stars or girls? Do you watch girls? Never. Okay. So ne- if you found out. All, all guy porn stars. I don't know who these guys are for. I, I don't know, but they're not for me. <laughs> For homosexuals, maybe. Yeah, I don't, I don't know of many girls who have like oh okay, this. Oh uh, my this god, dude, Rodney this dude, <laughs> Rocks is just the best. It's got the most awesome cock I've ever seen. Like uh, yeah, I feel like girls you see like those other girls. Buns, what a hunk. <laughs> buns. That's so like nineties, eighties, nineties. Yeah, no. Um. So who? What's your what's your new deal? Um, I just found out about her. I actually knew about her a little while ago, but like I just saw her in action. It's this, I hope I remember her name. It's a uh, bell something or other. She's like this anime. She was just trending. Send me, send me, yeah, send me a name. I'm going to look it up. She looks just like an anime character. Belle Delphine. That's Del- who she is. Oh, I think I know the name. And I watched her give head the other day and she, it looked like she didn't know what she was doing at all. But somehow... It was oh, she's so very, yeah, she's, very she's, cute. she's like, she's very cute. She really does. She's like a cartoon for real. Like, it looks a, like, like a, the worst blowjob I've ever seen. If Hello but Kitty was like, was, sort of like, was a slut, it'd be this. Mm-hmm. Chick. It's the worst blowjob. Ever. She's like licking it. She's like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> like, somehow I was like, all right. <laughs> like, okay, I saw, I'll, I'll give you that follow. <laughs> I saw a blowjob a while ago where like. So see, now I'm watching her. <laughs> like, <laughs> Feel free to give it a minute. I'm going to the no, pa- no, we're good. <laughs> Patreon people continue and watch Lisa finger her beaver. <laughs> beaver. I don't know why I said that. Gross. <laughs> no. What am I, my dad? That's, a, that's an offensive term. I know. Um, call it a cunt like everybody else. <laughs> I saw a blowjob recently where um, parts of the dick were not touching part her mouth. Like it was like a, oh, oh. Like she wouldn't wrap it around the thing. That's yeah, annoying. Yeah. You have no idea. You don't have a dick. You don't know how annoying it really is. Like no, I would imagine that would be very annoying. I I don't, but I kind of do. Oh my god! I'm gonna, <laughs> let me tell you a blowjob story. I got a blowjob. No, tell me. I will. I will. I will. <laughs> I was in my. I was like twenty, uh, twenty two or twenty three, and I was making out with this 37, 38, 39 year old woman. And he aged while you were making out. Yeah. We, well, I, I take, it takes a while for me to come. It's like three years. No, mm. that's not true. I come really fast. Um, <laughs> so she, we're in the car. She's like, obviously, at that time, I thought she was like elderly being in her late 30s. I'm like, I'm doing this lady a service before she goes back to the rest home. And um, she is giving me a blowjob. And she is like holding my dick with an iron fist, squeezing as mm. hard as she can. She's mm. squeezing so hard, mm. I can't. I can't feel her mouth on my penis. <laughs> like it's going. Like numb. Your arm is going to sleep. Yeah. I think. Like I came, but I think she more just like squeezed the come out. It was like an orgasm. It was like toothpaste. <laughs> just, just like squeezed it out, and it was so painful, not enjoyable. And then I found out later that she was a virgin and she'd been molested and she had a horrible life and had never had a boyfriend. And- Go on. Right? <laughs> yes. <Go> yes. On. <laughs> what, what do you do? With, do you use your pinkies? No, I just, that's Luke and I do that a lot. <laughs> You've done this a bunch. And it's like, it's like you have like a, like arthritis. <laughs> like, like, I fucking do in my leg. I don't know what's going on. I'm like crippled in one leg now. That's how Michael J. I'm Fox so jerks upset. off, by the way. Oh yeah. Is that what's happening to me? I'm Parkinson's? really gonna, like no. I think I uh, MS maybe. Mm, probably, my um my uh, stepdad's mom died of it. It's a horrible way to go, and I'm I'm not looking forward to seeing you go that way. But I do want to do a podcast with you in our in your final days, just to see how weird it is. I will gurgle the shit out of that shit. That's my All right. I should be here. <laughs> no, you can't. I've really lost control of my left leg. Like it hurts so bad. 
So uh, let me tell you something. I from- have a brace on for hours of the day. I put ice on it. I haven't been exercising and I can't. Last night we were in the car to that. What is the sound? I was going to ask you the same thing. Is it your stupid new dog? No. Is someone like playing dominoes at your place? <laughs> Dude, what is that? It's, 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 it's not here. Hang on. It's oh. definitely there. It's definitely there. <laughs> What? <laughs> what? I can't see what's going on. <laughs> Take off the fucking screen, you idiot. <laughs> if, you're not, if you're not watching the video, Lisa, Lisa was watching porn and she didn't close the screen. She just threw the phone next to her and we heard all these slurping sounds. And I thought it was I thought it was I thought it was her dog eating treats. <laughs> And it was just oh, a chicken sucking a cock. Ooh, <laughs> badly. Yes. Oh, oh, yes. So many plays. Oh. No. oh. Uh. You are so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I have actual tears. Oh. Lisa, no joke. Oh. Just then, I almost passed out. <laughs> there was a part where I was laughing. I leaned over and like things started going white. <laughs> What is that sound? What is that? I think it's in your house. No, I think it's your house. No, I think it's in your house. I can't breathe. That's not funny, Lisa. It's been a rough year. My fucking ribcage hurts. Don't blame her. Look at these tears. I'm crying. Don't blame blame Delphine. We're we're in the middle of a global pandemic. Just let her suck the dick. It's okay. Suck it badly. It's okay. Oh, my God. It's so fucking funny. What is that sound? Man. I peed a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, dude. A I little. Fucking, I, you peed a little <laughs> bit. I shit a lot. A lot. <laughs> full. Oh, remember? Full yeah, on. I mean, mm. um, <laughs> what? You, uh, what's that? Nothing. <laughs> you, you almost, you almost want to tell <laughs> a story, but thank <laughs> you for saving me the extra work. Um, <clears throat> oh, that was a good. That was a good ab workout. Uh, speaking of, <sighs> speaking of crying, I do have some uh, bad news. Oh, good. Yes. I've had a very <laughs> rough realization lately. Uh huh. I, your friend Dan, mm-hmm. have I think I have I think I have overactive tear ducts. <sighs> I think that I don't think I, I've ever seen you cry ever even once. Um, I cry a lot, but I do it in private. Do you? Um, I cry a few times a year, probably. I want to see you cry. <clears throat> so I cry. I am no fear. You're holding back on me. So I cry. cry. I cry at <laughs> movies. I cry at movies all the time. That if doesn't count. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. I, so I, I've had, I had a really like almost like shaking cry a few months ago. Really? Yes. Yes. Dare Obviously, I ask? I'm not, not going to explain. I'm not on here. I'm not going to say what happened. But I just like got some news that like rocked me and uh, broke my heart. So. Uh, I cried mm. hard at that one. Um, Happy New Year, everybody. I mean, I hope you're ringing in the new year. Get rid of 2020. Uh, Dude, it's getting too real. Dan's reaching for his inhaler, guys. So that, No, that was all from the Delphine blowjob <laughs> bell, bell fiasco. That was so funny. Oh, um, yeah, I cry. I, I cry over like really sappy things. Like, yeah, me too. Uh, I cry if there's anything in a movie with like a sweet father-son <clears throat> moment. I'm mm-hmm. done. I'm completely done. Yeah, I can't relate, so I don't know. <laughs> right, well, you don't have a dad, but if you, if you if you had a dad, you could kind of relate to it. It's yeah. a special thing. <laughs> but if like um when you see videos of uh of military vets coming home and like surprising their kids in a classroom, or when the dog sees the fucking guy at the airport and yeah. the dog goes bananas, yeah, that's the real shit. No, that stuff doesn't get me. Oh, you okay. know, what gets me court TV. Um, Core what? TV for real. 
when they have like outbursts in the courtroom, they're like, you have anything to say to the judge? And they're like, listen, man, I really, I really did it this time. I'm really sorry. I, I, all I want to do is make my mama proud. I'm so sorry. And they're like, really? Well, that's too bad. Cause you got the death penalty, bitch. <laughs> and her mom's like, oh, Lord. <laughs> I fucking loot. The other morning I was sitting here by myself on my phone and like something had popped up. I had not seen court TV before this. And I started watching it and I was enthralled. Like I, it was hook, line and sinker. You, you'd never like, seen court TV before the other I day? I think it's the right, the, the, the correct name for it. Yeah. Or it's just like, or like courtroom gone bad. When it just goes fucking, people just go nuts in the courtroom. I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> I can't Did you see the woman, it. the woman that went nuts <clears throat> on Jeffrey Dahmer? Have you seen that? It's a classic Mm-mm. video of like a, um, you know, like when someone is found guilty, the family is allowed to address the murderer. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. This like he killed a lot of like uh, like black dudes, and so mm-hmm. um, these like this one black woman who's like a, a truly a strong black woman went fucking nuts on him, being like, "I hate you, Jeffrey. I hate you." She's I have seen her this. Fists around. Yeah. Yes. And she yeah, tries yeah, to yeah. approach him and go after him, just to be held back, yeah. but like. It was so real. It's all that kind of shit. Yeah. I can't deal with it. Yeah. I cannot deal with it. I was sitting here and like, she's getting ready for school and he's doing his thing. <clears throat> and I'm sobbing on the mm. couch. And afterwards I came up and I was like, Johnny, I found the best fucking show. Like we have to, he got like 90 episodes. So we sit here and I cry at night. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, he hates Perfect. It. Yeah. Yeah. I, I cry way more at a, like happy, like a happy tears a lot. Um, yeah. So, I mean, some, obviously some death stuff is yeah. sad. Yes. Uh, I don't like when the babies can hear. They're like, oh, oh come to mommy. Yeah. And they're like, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> like, oh, that's so beautiful. I oh, it, it wastes me. Oh, I, it is. Oh, yeah, and okay. I, I can't, I can't deal with it in any capacity. Oh, it's so sweet. Or what can you handle it when, when it's uh, like a boyfriend, girlfriend? There's one really good one where the girlfriend hears her her boyfriend for the first time and the first word she's ever heard in her life was him telling her that he loves her and ah like like they they, they turn it on and (sighs) the doctor says like to the guy like i'm about to turn on so you can say whatever you want uh they turn it on and he says looks at her and says i love you can you hear me and she goes (gasps) (laughs) <laughs> oh, she like covers her mouth <laughs> so good, I know. Yeah. I because they look around like can you guys hear that too <laughs> <It was> amazing. <laughs> but the first word she ever heard she had a boyfriend for years he learned sign language for her and everything and the first word she heard was him saying i love you oh it's that, gonna get me right now oh, no it gets God. me it's the first thing i said to joe oh it's perfect when they boy put her in my arms i said i love you and yep. then the next thing was i can't believe how sweet she is mm. Okay, sorry. Boy, boy, have things changed. Boy, so much. <laughs> I'm gonna kill her. <laughs> yeah. By the way, you guys listening, there's nothing Lisa's daughter hates more than when she's about to record a podcast. She just wants to be like, "Oh my, hey, do you want to talk about sand for an hour? Do you guys <laughs> like? Have you guys ever seen a truck? It's like, well, what? she was what? so cute today. Uh, we did some Rice Krispie treats, and then we had. She's really into makeup, so she wanted makeup lessons. So. I set up the mirror, I brought out my makeup and my brushes and I, I would do one side of her face and I'd say, okay, do this. And now, now you do what I just did. And so she would do it and she looked so freaking cute. I can't handle it. Um, but she said to me, Hey, maybe I'll pop into rare form radio tonight since I got my makeup on. I'm looking all cute. <laughs> <laughs> my god yeah. she meant it she wasn't trying to yeah. be funny oh, no oh, she's so totally good. serious i'll pop maybe in. i'll pop in do you guys mm-hmm. a favor <laughs> people will probably yeah. want to know what i've been up to so um oh that's cute uh, you're pretty cute i so, took a lot of pictures my uh back to my tear ducts i don't know how we got off that but like uh <laughs> so i oh the crying thing so uh i don't think i have t- overactive tear ducts because i cry a lot but when i lay down to go to bed my eyes start watering, like it's like going down my nose and dripping. <laughs> off you my hate nose. it, dude. You hate it. You're like, no, must not go to bed. It's not it, six a.m. yet. It might be some of that. Either I wait way too long, I push through to the point where I'm completely exhausted. So mm-hmm. my my body's like, dude, we're, we're we're like starting to head going to failure. You gotta do this earlier in the day. When you get tired, don't wait six hours. Go to bed. Yeah. So I think I have to get like 
sponge glasses or something for bed so I can put them on and the sponge will like soak up all my tear duct tears so I can finally sleep because you, cry before, you really cry before bed that's a, that's like could be annoying. I'm not crying I'm not a fucking baby I'm a grown I don't man go baby oh, there's TV on uh, I watch ridiculousness every night and that's what that's the reason I can't get up in the morning I thought that was a joke okay. until I asked Johnny no oh uh, every fucking night we used to watch together till this dog came along. Now Johnny sleeps in the, on the couch, and, we don't want, and I have to watch ridiculousness with Adam and be all sad. Wait, wait, and wait. Literally text him, be saying, "I'm sad. I miss you. I'm watching ridiculous ridiculousness, and you're not here." Why is he sleeping on the couch? Because you have a dog. Because the dog, we keep her out here, and so Johnny's been getting up like every three hours, two, three hours, to take her out and let her pee. Is she in a cage? Yeah, or crate training. Right. So yeah. But she should learn early to stay in the crate for eight hours not eight and not hours. pee. No, he's like, trust me, he's done the research. <laughs> it's kind of his bag. But mm, okay. So he's he he's up like every three hours taking her out. And That's it's not miserable. normal. That's not normal. I don't think so either, right? No one, nobody in the, uh, listen, we have a lot of listeners who are dog owners. Uh, mm-hmm. Do any of you wake up every three hours in the middle of the night to take your dog well, out to pee? Well, she's a puppy. No, 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 no. She's a puppy. Like, this is not how it's going to be. But for it, now. It, it is going to be that way if you keep doing it and make it a habit. I know. And he takes her out of the cage. And then, like, I come out at, like, seven and, and she's on his chest. And I say, like, you can't, you can't fucking do this. First of all, I don't want her on the couch because she's yeah. a piss and shit machine. Like, I definitely don't want her on the couch. Yeah. And every morning she's on the couch. Mm-hmm. And he like looks like guys. a Ren Stimpy still shot. He's just like bloodshot eyes. Like, ah, I just need coffee. I feel this terrible. Is, this is what leads to divorce. Yeah. In most, in most households. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Cute puppies that turn into the bees. By the way, they got a dog. What kind of dog is it? It's a golden doodle. A what? A golden doodle. She's so cute. It sounds like the name of a girl. We don't have cookie. a name for her. We, we named her... And now all of us agree she doesn't seem, we named her Ursa, but she doesn't mm-hmm. seem like an Ursa. And like the only thing that makes sense to me is dog. I call her dog. I'm like, come mm. here, dog. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nothing else works. And I, she really doesn't take to anything. What about Delphine? And it'll just be you and me that know where the name came from. <laughs> and then like I feel like that's flowery enough where Jolie will like it. That's what I mean. Yeah. And then later in life, Joe be like, Joe, remember that Delphine dog we had years ago? I named it after my favorite diddle porn star <laughs> that I used to flick my bean to. Yep, that was your dog. <laughs> no. Oh God. Or Maybe. Belle. Belle. She's she said Belle. She wants Belle. Bella. I'm Lisa. like, can we not have any basic bitch names? I don't and then know every me. time someone calls a dog, you just like get wet. Totally. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Some, like a Listen, horse with a feed I've bag. always said the best part about having a pet <laughs> is getting aroused. Right, right. I've always Fuck said it. Shit out you know dog. That. I've always said it. <laughs> um, oh, what else? What else is in the news? Um, mm. Mm. Oh, mm. speaking of being vegan, have you mm. heard about <clears throat> they've genetically engineered? Oh yeah. Oh girl, fucking. <laughs> you okay, Monty? Monty okay. does that shit, yeah. Um, I miss Monty. We we should have Monty, well, at some point. That would be wild. I want to be there if that happens. <laughs> we'll do that. Let's do that sometime. Have That'd you seen uh, Queen's Gambit? Not yet. Okay, there's a character who is Monty. Oh. Like, what's it's... Her, what's, her, what's her name? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I don't... By the way, anyone that... Monty is uh, my, old band, my old singer in the band The Bad Apples, and Lisa knew him before I did, and... Uh, is that right? Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. That's wild. Yeah. He's a wild. He's, he's a he is a truly wild person, and he is like uh, there is not another person another person on the planet like him. Like him. He's nope. like uh, the forest the forest Gump of partiers or something. You know, he's had so many crazy experiences. <laughs> um, you know what I mean? His life is fucking wild. At any time, you can call Monty and be like, "Where are you?" And he's like, "Ah." Oh. I'm in Sweden just partying, fucking yeah. rocking out. <laughs> just got back from uh, Africa for some reason. It's like, well, what? What are you doing there? I don't know. Just find my way. Someone had a couch. I, I had to sleep. I had to sleep, so I went to Africa. <laughs> it's really true. Yeah. He's, really he's, true. Had, I, he's had so many crazy experiences. Like, uh, <clears throat> It's always been that way for years. Do you know? Are you a Jeff Buckley fan? 
Mm-hmm. Do you know that he was with Jeff Buckley the night he died? What? Fucking what? He was on tour with a band who was touring with Jeff Buckley. And they were in, because Jeff Buckley drowned in the Mississippi, right? Yeah. Monty was fucking there. Why have I never heard this? I'm almost positive he was there. Should I call him? Wait, is this real? Or are you just like assuming he was there now? Should I call now him? Now it's changing. Him? Call him, yeah. FaceTime that bitch, yeah. I don't want to FaceTime He's probably, him. he's probably, tr- he's a trucker now, I hear. <laughs> don't, you came in. <laughs> we don't have so enough time to explain him. this story. <laughs> we, we met up, I don't know, three months ago. He was in town. I hadn't seen him in forever and he came over to us. I asked him, I said, How, how's the trucking going? And he's like, what are you talking about? So, the, by, by, for trucker. the record, this year that we're in right now is 2020. Right. Our friend Monty went to trucker school. He, this is true. He did. He did go <laughs> in 2004. 2004. <laughs> yeah. Like for real, because it was after the bad apples were done. So it was like 2004, maybe 2005. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you asked him how school's still going, as if he's getting like a quadruple master at, uh, masters in, uh, in truck driving. Um, I've smoked way too much weed <clears throat> in my life. My, I'm like a goldfish. By the way, so, he never even I was dro- so proud that I even remembered. <laughs> Guys, people listening, uh, listeners, he never even drove a truck. And Lisa thought that's been his career for 16 years. <laughs> yeah. and, they're, and they are good he friends. He did. He's wrong. No, he's wrong, though. He did drive a truck. I remember he was like... He was on some hall or something. He called me. He was like, break no. a breaker. And I was like, what? No. That's Incorrect. crazy. No, that was somebody no, else. That, that happened, was, dude. It didn't. It's so delusional. He's never that driven a truck. That's it not happening. So Let me he's call him. He's driving a truck, right? Fucking call him in the truck. <clears throat> he's not going to be able to hear that, you, That's happening. Let me just was off. Let me see what Delphine is doing while you're doing <laughs> I hope he doesn't say anything stupid when he answers. Don't, don't show it. Don't show it. <laughs> Oh, we can show that. That's weird. Can we show that? Oh, what a naughty little bitch. Hello? Hello? I'm sorry. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The person you're calling is busy partying. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lisa. Sir. Have, when's the last time you uh, smoked marijuana? Uh, this morning. Oh, okay. So you're back on. You're back on the uh, the old dragon, chasing the dragon. <laughs> Actually, it was not this morning. It was this afternoon. Okay. Yeah. Do you go to a weed store? Uh, or do you guys, or do you delivery, yes. or you yes. okay, you get it from a proper place? Well, we used to. Now it will be delivery, yeah. Oh, ooh. <laughs> I'm really freaked out about this new strain of COVID. It's not here is, yet. Oh. oh. Apparently. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, hold on. girl. Hey, buddy. Hey, Oh well, you're, 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 Lisa. Lisa, he can't hear you. You're currently. Well, I'm, I'm still I'm, enjoying I'm, it. I'm recording a podcast with Lisa right now, and you're on right now. I have a quick question for you. I have a memory about you, and I want to know if it's true. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's usually a lot more uh, upbeat. Everybody. Yeah, he's definitely not partying right now. <laughs> were you Were you with Jeff Buckley the night he died? No. Okay. Cool. Wait, why Why did I think that was true? Did you ever tour with him? Did you ever meet him? Have you ever heard his music? Who? All right, I'll talk to you later, buddy. Oh my god. <laughs> Who? <laughs> so, um, I tell tall tales. Yeah, what the hell, Dan? It, oh, just I meant, t- what I he meant was Jeff. he was holding the knife when Elliot Smith stabbed himself. No, in. he was with the Bloodhound Gang on their final tour. <laughs> oh, fuck. I was confused Bloodhound Gang for Jeff Buckley. I'm you do that a, a lot. It's I'm, weird. I'm such an idiot, man. So about the weed, I just found out how much <clears throat> in dollars, in U.S. dollars. Oh, God. Yes. How much do you think Mike, oh, Tyson, oh, Mike okay. Tyson spends a month on weed? What's your guess? I don't know. Does he smoke weed? Yes. A lot of weed. How much money can you spend on weed? I mean, technically, you can spend as much as you have. A couple thousand, maybe. That'd be a lot. Yeah, right? It's a lot of weed, yes. How much weed is a $2,000? A, a fucking way more than I can smoke. Okay. Mike Tyson, the famed boxer. Spends... He likes cookies. The, the guy who eats cookies and cream I, yogurt, right? I didn't know that. 
Yeah, I told you. He was in front of me in line. Oh, yes, 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 yogurt. yes, yes. I have cookie and the cream. I'm, I'm really sorry. I didn't retain everything you've ever told me before. I'm really, I apologize. So am I. Huh. So Mike Tyson, the famed boxer, spends $40,000 a month on weed. <laughs> That's fucking so stupid. First 40, of all, no, he doesn't. No, no he doesn't. He smokes Even if you're getting like top sh- So did I, bro. Like, so did I in my 20s. I Like, there was a point. I'm not shitting you where I had three foot glass bong on the side of my bed. I would wake up at five, not because I wanted to get anything done, because I wanted to hit that three foot fucking bong. Would you set an alarm? I was setting an alarm. Oh, time for my five o'clock hit. I was setting an alarm, but my body alarm went off anyhow. And I would say, and there was not 10 minutes that went in between and I would go until 11 o'clock at night, smoking all day. And I definitely didn't have 40 grand. Did I ever Um, know you then? Of course, yeah. I this did the, the Quanga days, yeah. Like, I was oh, like, okay. Like okay. when I was like twenty six, twenty seven. Okay, that's what was going down. No, that wouldn't make because I'd be like thirteen then or something. Fuck right off. <laughs> <laughs> so forty thousand uh, dollars a month is almost half a million dollars a year. Dude, he year. does not. That's a lie. He's just saying that it seemed like Hold fifty on. cent or something. But it doesn't. It does also doesn't mean he smokes forty thousand himself. He buys oh. that, but he has parties and shit, and like probably buys for his boys and. Um, like Drew Carey, I went to a party at Drew Carey's house, and there was weed everywhere. Do I, have to, do, I have to, do I have to cut this out? I mean, are you going to offend Drew Carey? I don't think so. It was a great party. Yeah, fuck you, Drew Carey. <laughs> no, pothead. he was really nice. I fucking like that guy. There was weed everywhere, and then he had a sensory deprivation tank in his house. That Ooh, death. yeah. I want to do that really bad. Mm-hmm. I feel like I you're into that I, shit. I, I would, but like, I think I'd have a panic attack in a three seconds <laughs> if you don't have a panic attack oh, oh, with my thoughts listen oh. to me if you don't if you don't have a panic attack with the contraption you had on the other day then you won't have it you were in what did i have on the other day you posted some fucking picture <laughs> or video yeah, okay of you with like shock pads on your face and your body and it's like some like <laughs> your hair you're like ultraviolet light like what the <laughs> fuck are you doing it's infrared light which would, I was doing for my leg because my leg was really hurting and it helped. It was on your face and your chest. No, that's. That, <laughs> Do you that's know where your leg is? Micro, <laughs> that's microcurrent. That was for my face. That's self care, Daniel. Okay. It was self care. Sounds like self. So I didn't. I didn't. I, I almost had a panic attack because I got real fucking hot, but I didn't. You do it's real so hot. Many, you do so many things. Remember, I showed you like the the, the you do the infrared, so many things. What? Do you, what do you mean I do so many things? Like things and like uh, I got this routine where I, uh, zap, I my, zap my hair with banana sauce or some bullshit. I do. I do. I do actually infrared light to regrow this. It's working actually. What's, what's, do you have a receding hairline? I, I felt like this, my little widow's peak was going away. And so I did the infrared light on it. Bam, bitches, back. Dude. Fucking <laughs> Eddie Munster in the hizzy. <laughs> Thank God all homeless and starving people can't hear this. Um, yes, Lisa spends her money on lasers for well, a, a centimeter on her forehead. <laughs> no. By the way, no, I, I love blind money, money but okay. Best money I've ever spent. That has been my 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 fucking shangri la hmm. in this madness. I'm not kidding. Well, my red light, I love it. I go in there hmm. and then I listen to my meditation and I just fucking zen out like I'm like Keanu Reeves or some shit. Like it's crazy. And yet and you're then, still this high strung man. You I'm gotta up still. the dose or like. Well, listen. If I can't work out, I told John today. I, I said he's like, "What is wrong?" I'm like, "Well, I haven't worked out in three days. I feel like a fucking crazy person because that's how I get my stress out." Yeah. Like, look, even my wrist on this side hurts. I fear it's MS. I'm freaking out. I'm By the way, out. MS has like. 900 different uh symptoms ms is the wildest. this has been for years i've I've worried about this okay i went and had like brain scans and shit right and they have found nothing and nothing's gotten they found a little gray matter and and i don't know (laughs) well i don't know your eyes just went full psychopath for a second (laughs) Like, uh, it, it, you know how, like, when sharks uh, are about to attack, they roll, they roll completely black? It's like your eyes did that, but nothing, like, they didn't roll. They just became different eyes. Yeah. Real quick. Yeah, that'll, that'll happen sometimes. Listen, I want to tell you a little story. One time I was doing the show called NCIS, and I was a guest star, and I had to play a love interest, a former love interest to one of the leads. And 
the character's name was like Brenda or some shit. Bitch, at the end of the week, do you know what they named that character? They did a rewrite. Fucking crazy eyes. Oh, for your character? For my character. And it's hard not to take offense. Yeah. You no. Know? People are asking you if you have that condition, the big eye condition. Bitch, sometime, one time, <laughs> oh, I, I was about at this some before, store. I, I was at bag. some store, <clears throat> and sometimes when I'm concentrating, I know, like I know, my eyes betray me, and they just fucking get super like, what's up now? I'm looking at everything. This woman <laughs> walked up to me, and she goes, I just want you to know that you know you have very large eyes, and sometimes that signals that you have a very overacted um um th- uh, what do you call it? A thyroid. Thyroid. Yeah, <laughs> she just looks like you have an overactive thyroid. <laughs> so, thank you. If I could thank pay, you very much. If I could have, if I could pay, like real talk of my current bank account, I would pay. <laughs> 500 bucks to be standing by you for that interaction no you would pay 500 bucks for the time i was at fucking big lots mind my own damn business doing my little shopping and again i was <laughs> concentrating on something and these two little kids said something in a different language i don't know what language they were even speaking but they looked at me wait wait, wait, wait. Looked, fucking fucking foreigners in my country and they looked at each other and they went like this Oh, <laughs> they're making fun of my eyes. No. I'm like, I know. Leave me be. <laughs> yeah, they were laughing. They were looking at each other like this. Oh, <laughs> it was terrible. It's like, I know, I know. I it's know. weird. It's like, maybe it's because I've known you so long. They don't seem odd to me. Well, I feel like I've gotten better. Like I've not, oddly enough, I feel like, that doesn't happen as much now. Maybe I have my stress somewhat under control, which doesn't feel correct yeah. somehow, but that, <laughs> right. doesn't, that doesn't, maybe I've just learned to like not do that. Like, I don't know. I feel like you should be in a Marvel movie as like the super seer or someone. Like <laughs> her you. power, she can see Fuck everything. You. Fuck <laughs> you. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> yeah I, I saw them put in the code to the safe from a quarter mile away. <laughs> <laughs> Hundred yards there. They call you the peeper. You'd be the, the you'd be the peeper. Yeah, I would. That's your, I could that's see your everything. Name. Yeah, Marvel's the peeper. I like it. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't seem. Oh, that yeah, got weird for a second. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, I sometimes like when I'm singing. Oh, forget it. This is why I don't play guitar. You know, why? Because I because because you're a girl and girls can't play guitar. Right. That plus when I concentrate. When I'm playing guitar, I get so, I videotape myself before. I'm like, oh man, I'm so cool. I play guitar now. Fucking play guitar. And then like, I watch like, the video back up. And I'm like, I look like I'm in a heim. You know Jesus, what I mean? Right, right, right. Like, it's just very it's scary. I actually didn't know that you could play guitar at all. Yeah, a little bit. Can you really? A little bit. You know, you know who I have to thank for that is uh, Mikey McCormick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ah. Mm-hmm. He taught me. Wait. My, who's Mikey McCormick? The Weezer dude? No, he was that little guy I dated with the Mikey really good McCormick. hair. Mikey McCormick, I don't know. He's, I think he's like many of my ex-boyfriends gay now. <laughs> Mikey, Mikey Walsh, Welsh, he was the one that was the baseball I don't know if he's Weezer gay, guy, actually. Right? I allegedly, I don't know that. <laughs> well, but you have a history of dating a lot of gay men. I, 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 I uh, yeah, I flipped them. They're like, we're good. <laughs> I don't think we ever talked about Thanks. that. I, I turned yeah. uh, two girls lesbian when I was a younger man. Really? Yeah. 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 yeah it hurts a little bit yeah or i prefer to think of it as like oh my god my dick was so good she knew that like there's no doing better so traumatizing I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to women dick is no 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 traumatizing, not traumatizing. it's like but it's like <laughs> in the best you, way like once you <laughs> once, once you drive a once you drive a yeah once you drive a benz you don't yeah. go to a honda civic you get like a motorcycle you ride the bus there you have it that's all i'm saying it. here same thing um happy same. new year everybody Five, God ten, bless. nine, eight, seven, one. Here comes the ball. Yeah. Um. Do you guys have any? Uh. How you? What, what New Year's? Oh, party? New Year's plans? Oh, we're fucking partying, bro. Yeah. Take oh, some. Yeah. Dr- take some Molly. Go to that party. Get a microdose and just like you know. Yeah, we're gonna go to the Palladium. I they have parties. a buffet and like ladies' white pumps. They get in free, so I'm fantastic. Still, yeah. Fantastic. Um. 
I was driving through Hollywood. I hate going to Hollywood. I hate it so much. It makes me it makes, You're it makes there me a feel, lot, it would seem, yeah. It makes me feel <laughs> sick, but like uh, people that do gigs for some reason want to play in Hollywood. Mm-hmm. So I was driving down, and there's a very specific type of apartment that gives me really fond... I'm sorry, am I boring you? <laughs> no, I'm tired. Lisa just yawned so hard, her chin <laughs> touched her leg. <laughs> um, <clears throat> My good but, leg. Do you remember like uh, back in the early 2000s? I mean, probably earlier for you, but that's when I kind of got here. Like how fun house parties were when we'd roll in as a gang. And like, yeah. we didn't know whose place we were going to, but we knew we were going to see friends there. Mm-hmm. And like... I'm not a party dude. I wouldn't go there and drink, but it was so fun and like weird to go do all this stuff. And I don't think I'll ever do that again, ever in my I know, life. I know, dude. I had I a dream. Did I tell you about this? Like I was with my sister at some roller skating rink party. Mm-hmm. And I just, all my, par- all my dreams now involve uh, like either taking masks off or realizing I'm somewhere without masks. Uh, it's so fucked up. Tormented. But I had a, yeah, I had a dream. I was with Carla, and we were at some roller skating party, and I just <clears> got to see people's faces. Oh yeah, you told, you said this uh, last week, I think. Yeah, yeah, yep. It's weird. That's weird. That's what we dream about. <laughs> Sad. Um, yeah, I miss those days. It was a uh, time goes by too quick, Lisa. Yeah, too and quick. slow at the same time. Should we kill ourselves? <laughs> Let me know, dude. <laughs> dude, you and I, Let me let's know. meet. It's let's, that big comet in the sky. <laughs> let's meet somewhere in North Nike. Hollywood in a couple hours. And like, mm-hmm. we'll start a hundred yards apart and we will run full speed <laughs> and smash our heads together. And we'll, both- oh, then we'll just be hurt. Then we'll no, just no. be like, oh, then well, do it. Well, <laughs> one of us would probably die if not both of us. Dude, I don't run that fast. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Especially with my gimp leg. Forget it. I mean, if you want to really solidify, I'm coming, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe you drive and just stick your head we'll out the window. You. Yeah. <laughs> you stick your head out. I'll just stand still. Um, Fine. <clears throat> I mean, if you want to solidify 2020 being the worst year for like yeah. your sister, yeah. your daughter, your mom, kill no. yourself tonight. Yeah. <laughs> no. Listen, Johnny would be like, "We're not going to get." Oh, I can breathe. <laughs> 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 um, should we wrap uh, this up? Yeah, on that note. <laughs> on that note, I mean, once we start talking about suicide, how do we like go back to fun stuff? You know what I mean? You have any um uh, any uh closing statements or any um defenses? Oh, it was not me. I didn't do it. I didn't say it. I wasn't there. <laughs> I don't even know who that person is, Your Honor. I never oh. been on Kling Street in my entire life. Guilty as charged. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know what a Chevrolet is. <laughs> a gun? Not me, sir. Watch Court um, TV tonight. That shit will change your perspective. Mm, Tell you what. So you only cry about like, uh, uh, I wouldn't need to go into the crying stuff again, but you only cry about like people's care. lives being destroyed? Yeah. Just like one stupid little mistake. Like these are young girls and boys who, you know, I was a fucking maniac at 17. I easily could have been locked up at 17. Let's be real. Oh, yeah. And Absolutely. it's one little stupid mistake and their lives are thrown away and their I, parents are there witnessing it. I committed fu- like I, what I, higher I, drama is there? I committed a, a, a felony over the course of two years when I was like 16 to 18. And yeah. I, sh- I, I should probably be in jail for, for mm-hmm. um, stealing, you know, $60,000 from my boss over the course of two years. I should probably be in jail for that. I did that. I did that. <laughs> Did you steal hundreds oh, of dollars of change? Oh <laughs> do, you, do you want to tell that story? That was pretty funny. <laughs> uh, can I? I don't know. Can That's I? That's not. Should we use names? It's so funny with the names. <laughs> oh. So I, I used to have, I can't get it right now, but I have like. It's a, it's the water a, jug, the two the, gallon water jugs. But it's a Boston Red Sox, like oh World God. Series champion, like piggy bank huge bottle like probably two feet tall um that my mom got me it was like full of popcorn but supposed to be a piggy bank so i saved all of my change for fucking years and years and it's only silver it was so much money you couldn't lift it like even if it were pennies you'd still have like a few thousand dollars so the rule was it was all silver it was all silver and i had a friend come come stay with me for (laughs) 
like three or four days or a week or something. And he left. And uh, this is a very good friend of mine, by the way. And the, there's, there's no way that the change was the same amount when he left as it was when he arrived, when I opened my doors to him. And I remember I called him, Lisa loves the way I worded it, but I called him on the phone. <clears throat> I said, Hey dude, um, you get home safe. You, you back, you back now? He goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was, I was, yeah I was, it was good to see you. Um, I have a question though. Wait, what, did, well, how did I word it? I said, did you, it, <laughs> just curious. Um, did you, <laughs> did you steal hundreds of dollars of change? <laughs> <laughs> I know, did, did you steal like, Tons and tons of my change. You said when you hundreds of dollars. dollars of yeah, change. I did. I think that's it. And it was very like I was like very. Uh, I couldn't like almost like dog head. Like, <laughs> like Wait, you're my you're my bro. So like, uh, like I want to know the answer, but do I? And he's yeah. like, Dude, no, I would never do of that. Of course not. And I'm like jellyfish in the fly in the shower. <laughs> so it was either you. Or it's my girlfriend that I've lived with for five years. <laughs> and she who, just who makes, really likes pinball. <laughs> right. And, and she makes get enough. <laughs> way more money than I do. And like she <laughs> waited to rob me until I had a house guest to blame on like a childhood friend. I don't think so, dude. Um, so I've asked that person again. It's been 15 years since that happened. And I've asked a few more times since. And I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Poor you. And I've even left the door. I'm like, listen, I will never mention it again, but I have to know. So I think, <laughs> so now I think there might be another person involved, which I've never updated you on the story. Now I think it's, a, it's another friend what? who also stayed with me, who I think it really is. Oh, I have to know. So please text me right now. Okay. 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 No, this listen, this guy game. is great at like alibis and shit. Me? What do you mean? Who? Oh. V. Uh, oh no no no! Wait. I'm pretty sure. I'm sure. Pretty sure it was him. So he stayed wait, with me. Wait 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 yeah, wait. Yeah 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 yeah. Oh no no, 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 no the no, other no. one the yep, other yep. one. Yep. yep. So he I stayed with me that. for a while, and uh, he does some really shady shit. So I think it was him. I told you, I always had a bad feeling about that guy. Me too. I, I, I sent him. If I, I, sent I him can't a- warm up to a person, especially over years, like I know, something's not good. Do I know anybody else who you have that bad feeling about? Yeah. I do? Mm-hmm. Oh. Is, am I married to her? <laughs> 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 no, I'm kidding. She's fucking great. <laughs> um, yeah, I, uh, that person that we just talked about, I sent him a breakup letter a few months, like uh, eight months ago. That's so, eight months ago? Yeah. The fuck you have to break away eight months ago? You guys haven't been talking to each other for like 15 years. You just became your grandmother in the course of one second. You <laughs> hunched not, over, <laughs> Italian hands up in the air. Not far away. What are you away. talking about, you fucking animal? What are you talking about? <laughs> That's not far away. <laughs> um, no, I, he uh, it just it's years and years of uh, lying and being shady as fuck. And um, I needed him for something. I had to like rely on him for something. And he let me down for like the hundredth time. And we were already in this global pandemic. Oh, it's okay. okay. We we're already it's in okay. it and I had other shit going on and I started like, I made a decision to start taking stock in my friends of like, if people aren't great, just kind of get them out, get them yeah. out. And uh, he was the first big cut. And I was like, dude, I just, I've tried for years with you for many, many, many years. You're still dishonest. I still try to see how you're doing. And like, I, I need to have friends that I can have like real conversations with and feel like I know who I'm talking to. And you've never been that guy and you're not going to be. And I'm just like, I can't do it right now. And uh, um, what do you say? Uh, he Sorry. played it off. Like I didn't say anything. He like was like texting me like, Hey dude, a, um, a serial killer. Yeah. I got, yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, I got the, yeah, I got this thing for you. I'm like, I don't want it. He goes, all right, cool, cool, cool. Well, we should get some lunch soon. I'm like, do you know how to read? Like I fucking I laid it out like like a like really 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 solid and mm-hmm. uh, so eventually I was like, dude, I, I I straight up I said, dude, I don't want to talk to you right now. And he just wrote, yeah. cool, and that's been it. Ugh. Let me see. I'm eight months wanna, ago, we see. ran into him before the. I know. I saw a picture. A picture. Yeah, you guys sent me a picture of when you guys had to run in. Oh, I sent you the picture. Okay. Okay. Uh, Johnny last, sent you the picture. Yes. Not moi. Thank last you. time we spoke was July first. Wow. Yep. Clean cut. Um, I did a clean cut. Well, I didn't really do it clean. But there's a person 
who's who's very toxic in my life. Mm-hmm. And I had a... It's not worth it. No. It's not worth it. Oh, I think I know who it is. Do you? Fad? No, Fuck no, guy. no. Another, <laughs> another T name. Um, no, I don't think you know her. <clears throat> you might know her. Actually. Oh, her? Okay. Mm-hmm. You know her? Carla? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We talked about this the other night. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's a shame, but you got to do what you got to do. It's uh, at a start, uh, Listen, we have no young listeners. All of our listeners are in their late 70s, but mm-hmm. if there's any young person listening to your grandmother's By podcast. The, can what? I just say something? Yes. It's very depressing. That's who's in my DMs. Old women or old men? Old, old men, dude. I get like, I am so fucking popping. Be for flattered. This, for like they want, the they 65 wanna, and up. Oh, they just want to like, bend you oh. over and eat your fucking box with their, take their teeth out and lick they your don't puss. Want, they can't do that. They'll yeah, they can. They can have a heart attack. They can't do that. Oh, they would. But I get so many DMs from older men. Slamming like, that soft dick inside of you? Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> So we're just like gum. What do they say? Just like they send a lot of emojis. Okay. Of, like, like responding to stories kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of the working out oh, <laughs> stories yeah. that I used to post before I had a leg, no. um, before I had two <laughs> legs. Yeah. They, uh, they, they respond to those a lot, but yeah, I, I'm like, I'm like huge with the older men. They love me. I mean, that is one of they the, love me. that's one of the pitfalls of putting that kind of stuff out there is you're going to get like, you're going to get responses that make you feel good. Yeah. And like, you get the ones that make you want to maybe Rodney take your life. From Dangerfield, yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> hey, yo, I want to suck your twat. Like that, those, those kind of guys. Yeah, that's yeah. weird. I, I don't get any of that kind of uh, weirdness. That doesn't happen to guys as much as it does to you guys. I really... Yeah, my, my, heart, like, my heart goes yo, out to all women. Yo, here's what I'm going to do from now. I'm just going to start sending twat pics. Be like, hey, you up? Do you, th- <laughs> do, you like gonna, do you think it's gonna bother anybody? Check out this growler, motherfucker. <laughs> They'd be like, yes, fucking yes. <laughs> no. We're different uh, people. We're animals. That's what we want. What you should yeah. send is like, here's my grocery list, bitch, or that kind of stuff. That's the kind okay, of stuff that'll make us. Yeah. I want to start sending my asshole to guys. No, they'll love it. Send no. it to me. That's what I want. No. No, I want to send it just like an anonymous what? asshole. Have I'm you sent start me a new account? It's just asshole. Have you sent me your butthole before? Probably. I don't know. I don't think you have. Well, let me get right on that, Dan. It would, it would definitely be in my Lisa <laughs> sex folder. <laughs> you probably have one. You save everything. It's so fucking weird. I, I save certain. So when when friends of mine post certain pictures, I save them because they're so perfect for photoshops. Mm. So fucking perfect. Mm. For photo- mm-hmm. Do you want to see my, my full... So if you look to my left, it's a full-time... Full-size full Lisa cardboard cutout over here that I spank it to all I'm the time. I'm telling you, dude. You you save everything. It's like a little disconcerting. I'm like, why do you have that photo? Like, oh. Well, it's for it's literally for Photoshop's. That's why I save certain photos. <laughs> it's, it's, I like to Photoshop myself. Fucking uh, you. I sent you a good one the other day. I sent you one that you wouldn't let me post, so I posted it really, really, really tiny I, I don't care. You can post it. I don't give a shit. Oh! Oh, sweet. There's an ugly, a very <laughs> ugly photo of myself. Dan said something, and so I sent him like a like an oh, ugly wait. photo. Don't give it, don't give it away. Don't give away and, my and genius. And then Dan, Dan drew little dicks on my fingers. Cause... Okay, or give it away. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. Thanks. You're welcome. We're gonna insert it right here. Oh, we can't. We can't put it on YouTube. But all right, Lisa, we gotta wrap this up because we gotta we gotta make this episode small, like short for. Excuse me. Before I start saying dumb shit, you know. <clears throat> I do want to take a second. Uh, this mm-hmm. is our last show of mm. 2020. Um, it's our last show of Lisa and I doing this rare form residency. Um, so I'd like to take a second. Good luck next, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna love my choice. Who is it? No, I'll tell. I'll tell you later. I'll tell you later. Come in now. No, because your response will like you'll. It, no, I'm not gonna do it. I'll be like professional. Give me a, or give me a second. I want to be serious for a moment. Okay. Yeah. This has been a, a very interesting year for this show. Um, our fan base has grown. We have had. Uh, we went through a pandemic together for global no, ourselves. I'm sorry. Say say it your way, the dramatic way. Hey. Going through a global pandemic right now. It's okay. And, and hey. we, well, it's okay. Okay, cool. Um, we've gotten messages over the last uh, ten months that this show has has helped people give you know be distracted and 
laugh a little bit when things have been shitty and sad and weird or people are out of work. Um, and I want to tell those people that this show has been really, really great for me as well. It's been giving me something to focus on and it's made me feel like I can do something or give back. And, uh, and like, you're least, really good at it. Well, thank you. Uh, you're so funny, Danny. Well, thank you. you. It's you're better great. when I have someone like you and, and Todd and people that I, you know, I agree. inspire me. Thank you. Um, <laughs> perfect. Uh, but it has been a very good year for, for us and um, did a lot of shows this year. We, you know, uh, I had stuff I want. I wanted to thank a bunch of people. I wanted to thank Frank, who's been here for, for, for this day one and does all of our editing and donates his time to the show, even though he's not even, a, not even a person who's on air at all. So thank you, Frank, very much. I want to thank Uncle Creepy, who cuts up the little clips. He takes the show and cuts it into clips. I have folders full of, uh, of clips we're going to post at some point. I want to thank all of the listeners who are great and that send really, really funny questions and messages and that have been incredibly supportive. Uh, obviously, there's no point in doing this if no one's going to listen. Um, so thank you to those people. Thank you to the Patreon people who are supporting the show financially, which is a very, very sweet thing for you. And for me, I want to thank the guests we've had. I want to thank Lisa, who stepped in when uh, I was by myself to help me end this year strong. I've really, really enjoyed these four shows very, very much. Not four. It's been like, I feel like it's been like 11 shows. It's been four, but a couple have been incredibly long. But then there was the one, there was like two before we made it a fish. True, true, it's true. But like, as far as like the residency, there's been four okay. shows. And there's sure. an extra, we did sure. a super long Patreon show. Right. Uh, so so thank you very much for joining me on this. I've had a really good time. Good. We'll do it again. We'll do it again yeah. for sure. Mm -hmm. um, and lastly, I want to thank my partner, Todd Newman, who uh, we all know is stepping away for a little while. And uh, this show wouldn't exist without him in the first place. I miss you, Todd. And I thank you very much, Todd, for uh, doing this with me for the majority of the year. And I hope to see you again soon. And everybody else. Happy New Year. Uh, this year has been stupid. It's been dumb. It's been, it feels like it's 100 years. Are you about to show your beef? What are you doing? Oh, my God. <sighs> I got to crank that Thank volume. You. <laughs> Thank These, you. Uh, was that a queef or did you, did, did no, you shoot that? No, that's, that's straight from the, the beef hole. Cool. So Lisa just farted for everybody. That's who I want to thank. That, that Lisa just dropped her ball. That was... <laughs> That's how Lisa says Happy New Year, and that's how she's always done it. So, <laughs> Happy New Year, it's a tradition. Rare people. Happy New Year, Lisa Rafael Dunn Rafael. Thank you. And um, I love everybody right now. Love you, um, Dan. Love you, Rifle. <laughs> Thank All right. you. Bye, Bye everybody. Guys. Happy New Year. Bye. <laughs>